Hey guys, it's Brianna with Crafting with Bree. I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. Um, I wanted to show y'all today um, some binded books that I made with my Your Story. Um, it's a book binder and laminator machine. And I love these blank journals that I make. And I did get, um, I was, you know, searching on YouTube and your story does sell the hardback covered album or hardback covered albums that are, you know, you add whatever you want, but they're not that pretty and I don't want to pay for them. So uh, I got this idea off of um, your story or sorry, off of YouTube and I'll put in the description box below who I got the idea from because I do want to give them credit because this is not my original idea. I, this is just my idea from that idea and you know my designs on you know decorating and stuff and embellishing it but and this is no way my idea and I am go going to give full credit to I can't remember her name right now but I will put it in the description box below um they are these cute cute eight and a half by five and a half five and a quarter excuse me uh albums uh blank journals and let me double check on that believe they're five five and three eighths I'm sorry eight and a half by five and three eighths and they're super cute they have 40 blank pages in them and I sorry these are already bagged up to you know to be sold um, but I think they're so cute I mean I have like six of them just for myself for different things that I you know I have one by my bed for my you know if I wake up in the middle of the night I have to you know write something down um, I have another one in my office that I use for just my, this is my idea book and all my instructions and all my, you know, things that I need are in here for any of my materials or any of my measurements. I mean, I just, they're just so great to have. And I mean, they're just so cute. You can just decorate them. This is like a Cricut cutout. And then this is a 3D popped up dot or, you know, little stamped image. And I mean, they're just really cute. And... I mean, they're just another Cricut cutout thing, but they're just super adorable and they're just 40 blank pages, so 80 front and back. And so let's get started here. I just have an eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and this is looking kind of crazy on there, but it's polka dotted, really pretty. And I'm gonna put the printed side up. So we're gonna be scoring here at five and one eighth and five and three eighths five and five eighths and five and seven eighths so five and one eighth five and three eighths five and seven six ugh, five eighths excuse me five and five eighths and then five and seven eighths I will have that down um, like coming off you know down here at the bottom of the screen and then also go ahead and check by my blog craftingwithbree.blogspot.com and all the you know instructions will be there as well in detail if you miss something if I go too quickly okay let's get this out of the way okay so here we have our five and one eighth five and three eighths five and five eighths and five and seven eighths so here we are. We're just we're gonna fold on. I don't know if you can, can you see those scores? No, it's bad. Okay, there we are. You can see that there's four score lines. We're gonna be folding on the five and three eighths and the five and five eighths. So the two center ones, we're going to be folding down. So we're just going to use the bone folder to reinforce that score line. And that's just beeping to saying that it's turning off because I didn't decide what I wanted to do. So let me turn that back on. And we're going to be binding. So let me turn it here. Okay, so here is the Your Story and you can see the red button in the middle is turned it on. And then you push the Bind It All button, which I didn't realize my battery is almost dead. So if it dies, I'll just have to slice it in. Do, you know make another video 
put it together, but the bind it and then it's gonna turn green when it's ready. So the bind it all up button. So you just turn it on, push the bind up button because we're gonna be binding the book. So we're just scoring, reinforcing that score line. So there we have one. I thought I did the other one, hello. And then the second one. Make sure it's just nice and straight on your book. And there we are. So then we're just gonna kind of straighten that out. So there we have our spine of our book. And this, the extra score lines is for when you open the book, it actually folds really nicely when you open to fold it over so your pages will just fold really nicely. Now, me and my fingerprints, I'm sorry, I'm, e I'm always eating candy. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And the pages on the inside of this book um, are going to be five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So what I do is I just take a regular eight and a half by 11 paper and I put it through my huge Fiskars. I don't even know if this will fit in the whole thing. This, my paper cutter. And I do five at a time and taking 20 sheets to cut them in a half five and a quarter, five and a quarter, you're left with a little bit of a thing here. So I've already pre-cut the 40 sheets. So these are 40 sheets at eight and a half by five and five, five and a quarter, excuse me. Okay, so here to make the binding of the book, we're going to take our glue gun and that's just beeping saying, hey, don't forget about me, we're almost ready for you. Um, we're going to take our glue gun and in the center, we're going to leave an eighth of an inch on each side. We don't want to hit the end because we don't want our glue getting into the machine. So we're going to take our glue gun and I just kind of go in circles all along the spine. Making sure to kind of stay in the lines. We don't want the glue going everywhere bonkers and just going along, going along and wait till we go to the end and then what I do is I start at the top again and I kind of just do a second line over it just to make sure that my papers stick really well in there and then there we are. You do have to let this dry you don't want um, to put your paper in there while it's wet. So I do have one already ready right here. And as you can see, you can the glue and then there's a little bit of a spot left on this side and a little bit of a spot left on that side right here. Okay, so it's just all down the center strip. So we're gonna take our 40 strips of paper, just pound them down good. Make sure they're all flushed to the table so when they hit the spine, all the papers are going to adhere to that glue. We want to make sure all the papers are connected. We don't want to have any stragglers. You don't want your paper falling out. That's not good. You just kind of push it down. And is this baby ready for me? You know, just make sure you're and 40 pages fits really good. I don't like to overstuff it. Um, so it's flush there and then you have a little bit of leeway here. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. And then, I mean, it's just, just a neat little book. Okay, so I'm just pushing it down, making sure I don't have any papers that are sticking up that aren't in contact with the glue strip. Okay, let me see. It did beep at me, so I'm just going to push it all the way down. Let me move that for y'all so you can see. Push it all the way down, and then push the binding. So now it's saying, hello, I'm, I'm binding now. So I do push down on my papers just to make sure that they're making a real good contact with that glue. 
I don't want to have any of my pages falling out. So I am kind of diligent in pushing down the papers. Now, if you have any questions or, you know, comments, just leave them down below. I mean, I will answer y'all. Um, like, subscribe. I'm sorry, this is boring. It's like watching paint dry, huh? But I'm just... I really like to make sure that it's very, very flush. And it usually takes, I think, like about a minute, a minute and a half to really... My machine's kind of dusty. Sorry, guys. Um, maybe I should invest or sew a cover here. But, um, oh my gosh, did y'all see my head? Sorry. Um, it'll beep at me when it's done. So it'll let me know, hey, come and grab me, Brianna. Come and put me in the... There's like a little section back here where you can just place it and it can rest and the glue can cool down so hopefully this will be ready soon if not i'm just going to put y'all on pause and be right back okay so that's telling me it's done so then i take it out and let me turn this around you know i'm going to recommend that this machine is hot and maybe you shouldn't be messing around with it like this but so you're forewarned, just be safe. There's this little rack right here. So you just place it there and let it cool. And um, I'll be back when that's cooled. It usually takes about, mm, I usually wait about five minutes and then um, we'll get back and we'll see the final product. Be back. And we're back. Okay, so it's been resting for about five minutes. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so now we have our eight and a half by five and three eighths blank journal. And as you can see, like all the pages are stuck in there. You know, there is no falling out. There's no falling out. So it's all stuck down really good. So what I'm gonna do now is I just have a little, let me zoom in here a little bit, right there. Okay, I just have a little teacup. Um, it's one of my extra Cricut cutouts. I'm not even sure what cartridge it's from. When I have extra cutouts, I have this box underneath my desk. And I just throw all of my extra cuts in here. And if I want something, I just kind of dig, see what I have. So I came across <clears throat> this little teapot, which I thought would be a real cute addition to the front of my polka dotted book. So let me grab my ATG gun. I'm just gonna center that. I'm just gonna kind of my end screen there, yeah. Make sure it sticks down. We don't want it falling off. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. A little. All right, and just for safekeeping, let's do this little handle here with our zig. All right, looks good to me. Can you tell I don't like stuff falling off my projects? I I don't like that. All right, let me center this here, and it just says "Be happy." It's one of my new stamps that I got from Studio G. And there we are. We have a blank journal, you know, made from, you know, your story. And it's just really nice. I mean, you just have, what do I want to write? What do I feel like? You know, anything. You can put anything in here. Your thoughts, your, you know, drawings, your, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night, you've had a dream, you want to write it down. Um, I just think these are so, just so wonderful. You know, even you can make them in any sizes. That's what I like about this. You can make this mini album cover to make to fit any size um i know that cricut makes you know the 12 by 24 paper you can make a huge you know book you know uh, sc for scrapbooking there's just so many ideas for this that you're not limited to just what the your story um albums that are offered you're not just you know limited to that you know the sky's the limit you know if you can you know as long as it fits in the you know 12 inch slot then it works so, um, if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and comment down below. 
Um, I hope you'll have a really wonderful day. Y'all be safe out there. And thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And thanks so much. Bye.